Hello there. These are the destructive tests of the second iteration of wooden armor. To begin with, I will shoot it with my bow. A miss. Rooster's teasing me. This arrow was fitted with a antler tip. When it struck the board, it split the board lengthwise. You'll see the depth penetration here. Holding it too high, but more than enough to be lethal. The antler arrow again. Once again, it split the board lengthwise and passed very deeply into the target. I realize I'm too tall for this camera setup. This is my steel arrow. It struck the board, split it lengthwise, however it only penetrated an inch or so. This is probably due to the head. The bone arrow is exactly as thick around as the shaft. The steel arrowhead is thinner than the shaft. So when it comes to the shaft, it sticks. Here the arrow struck the wood perpendicular to the grain and bounced off, causing minimal damage to the armor. Now I move on to my knife. In these tests, the knife occasionally passed through the gaps between the boards, but it also served to split the boards lengthwise, which was disturbing. Once the gapping issue is fixed, we then have a splitting issue to deal with. What a pity. Now I switch over to a small bronze knife. The Iroquois would have had something similar to this in the form of copper knives of a similar style. The armor proves adequate for most of these, excepting where it strikes a gap. Spear time. The spear struck a gap perpendicular to the grain. It sliced deeply into the wood, and as you can see, I had a, quite a time getting it out. You can see how deeply it penetrated here. Here the spear penetrates the board effortlessly, splitting it lengthwise.
Here the spear struck a gap. Back to the knife for some slashing. The armor proves more than adequate to prevent slashes of this kind. So I try slashing with a bigger knife. No significant damage. And again. No penetration. However, one of the straps holding it up was cut. The armor proves adequate to prevent cuts from even large knives such as this. Most fighting knives in the period would have been made of bone. I don't have a bone knife, so I'm using my arrow as a dagger here. It's not a good analogy. A dagger would have more mass, but it, it, it is what it is. Here it slid between a gap. and Here I miss because I'm incompetent. I was unable to penetrate the boards using my arrow as a dagger. The arrow received no damage from these tests. It survived cuts with my knives, so now I try my sword. None of these thrusts were able to penetrate the wood. No significant damage. Again, no significant damage. This was the only blow that managed to significantly damage the armor. It broke one of the boards, bending it at, what is that, 15 degrees? The armor was still intact, though. It did not cut the board all the way through. Now the tomahawk. This was able to just destroy the armor last time I tried it. The boards were snapped, but not cut. The axe would not have entered my body. Again, the armor would have prevented me from being cut. However, it did sustain significant damage. No damage at all there, really. Here I strike with the grain rather than against it. The axe splits the wood and penetrates about two or three inches. Here it struck a gap. Here I missed. Again it split the wood. <laughs> 